Roll call. In favor? In favor. In favor. In favor. Uh, I'll ask our treasurer to please come on up and just kind of hit a couple of highlights on this. Good evening, Mayor and members of the board and the public. Uh, this is the uh, final tentative budget, which will be uh, voted on tonight, uh, hopefully become the adopted budget. Uh, at our last meeting on uh, April 11th, I believe, uh, we'd come out and uh, showed the uh, first tentative budget that had a tax increase of 8.39%. And at that point, the mayor, the board, and department heads uh, promised uh, the residents that we would do everything in our power to comb through this budget line by line and see what we could do to get that down. And I'm happy and pleased to say that we've accomplished that task. Uh, the tax rate presently uh, sits at 6.2% increase instead of 8.39, so we pretty much shaved off two and a quarter points. Uh, the main reason for this is one unfortunate thing is we are going to raise parking fines for uh, late payments and some fees by a small amount, but I do a lot of traveling and in all the surrounding municipalities. Uh, we're still a better deal than most and we're equal with anybody else. We do not top anybody else. So we keep the pain down a little bit and it spreads it around a bit. Uh, we've had a number of work sessions, even including Easter weekend, where again, you know, we worked diligently line by line to do the best that we could to make this least amount of pain for uh, the residents of the village. And I think we've done a good job with what we have. Uh, not much else has changed you know, in review since we were here two weeks ago, but those are pretty much the highlights that have gotten us to this position today. Thank you, and I want to thank you for all the uh, extra time you put in, which My pleasure. you do. I guess everyone has to do that around tax time, and you have to do it around budget time. So uh, I see your car out here on quite a few weekends, so I know you've uh, gone the extra mile for us. So um, yeah, just a couple of thoughts that I have. Um, as I had mentioned at our last meeting, the significant driver of this budget, and you can attest to this, is the reduction of the assess role of the entire village, which had a, a pretty detrimental impact to us before we even sharpened our pencil on this budget this year. So um, it, it's just so people understand that it's, it's a reduction of all the property values in the community. And this is also as a result of uh, some property owners who have filed tax or sherry uh, notices and claims against the village and have uh, been successful in those. So it's uh, something that affects us now, but moving forward, hopefully if things increase a little bit, it's, uh, I get the feeling we may be dealing with this in another budget cycle, but maybe we're kind of on the end of the curve on that. Can you expand on that a little bit? I believe so, because I believe you can file a tax cert once every five years. Um, would you know, usually, John? It, usually there's a, free, a freeze for three years. Three years? Yes. And if the economy picks up, that means the market values of the houses will pick up along with it. We'll still see them. They're, they're a fact of life, especially as taxes go up and people find it harder and harder to meet day-by-day -day expenses as a lot of people live, you know, paycheck by paycheck. It's never going to go away, but the severity of it, I would hope, would drop. Right. Because we've had a couple of cases where we paid out a half a million dollars, and that means a reduction, quite a reduction of the... Uh, the assessed valuation. Right. So, so we'll be optimistic here and uh, say that the glass is half full and hopefully things are on an upswing. So well, that is the only way to think of things. Right. We've had uh, quite a few budget meetings. We've had uh, meetings with our department heads. I know we've met with you on numerous occasions. So we've put quite a bit of time and energy into this. And uh, it seems to me like it's a, uh, a very fair budget. So if any of the other board members want to weigh in, Deputy Mayor. Um, just to mention that we did that one of the other factors that has led to the increase was the, uh, the the inability to have to replace the space that we had on the third floor. Um, that's a significant uh, revenue stream that we have not been able to replace. Um, um, there have been there was a big bunt uh, a big bump in um, pension fund contributions right. from last year, and that was one of the, the larger line items that led to this increase, which is something that's really beyond 
beyond our control. It's the f function of the way that the uh, the pension fund, the way it's uh, invested. yeah, the way it's invested, and, and it's a function of the economy. So, um, so really, those are the the main factors that I saw um, that really had led to an increase at all. Right, and on the positive side, I got another uh, spreadsheet from the county saying that the sales tax for uh, the quarter ended uh, March. Again, increased. The last month didn't increase by as much as the prior ones, but it's still an increase. In, it's, it's an upward trend. Mm -hmm. It hasn't declined in, in quite a number of months. That's a favorable, just a favorable outlook. That's good news. That's more and good news. And also articles in the paper would also seem to indicate that the economy and, and jobs in Westchester, you know, while you know, we're not dashing through the finish line, they're slowly but surely, you know, rising. Trustee Quigley, any comments? Yeah, I would just note uh, to echo what uh, uh, Trustee Giordano said in terms of uh, we sort of started out in a hole because of several fixed costs that we really had no control over. And that made it difficult to shave any of the other uh, costs that we did have some control over uh, without jeopardizing uh, the kind of services and, and police protection that the people in the village have come to expect. So it's a tricky balancing act, and uh, you know we really did go, um, you know, at the point where we're trying to do a few hundred here, a few hundred there, it, which doesn't sound like much, but you know, we did pay attention to this and try to make sure it was still effective, uh, yet kept the taxes to a you know reasonably uh, increase. So. Trustee Luisi, any comments? Any thoughts or comments? Well, uh, not to uh, toot the horn of the board, but uh, and not to uh, I will echo what's already been said, but. This board, as well as Mayor Eklund, literally went through this this uh, budget line by line from Trustee Quigley drawing up a two-page uh, draft for us to look at. Can we do this? What can we fix here? From the department heads with their input, which was so instrumental in us uh, making some cuts. And, and, you know, we literally burned the midnight oil a few nights. And as you mentioned, uh, John, we did work over the Easter weekend. So... Uh, you know, I feel confident about this budget, and I know there was a lot of work that went into it. And again, I'd like to reiterate what Mayor Eklund said. Thank you for your hard work, as well as the cooperation and on, on everyone on this board. And I'd also like to mention that um, I received some comments from some of our residents, and uh, one in particular was very helpful to me in kind of wrapping my head around some new thought process processes on uh, how we look at our budget and I think we may be uh, making a few um, adjustments in how we actually uh, prepare our budget in the future moving forward so we'll have a few more thoughts over the next 12 months ideas on that. come from all over the place right. and you just have to have open eyes and mind to listen to them you know, if they're good you use them um, at this point I'd like to see if, uh, if there's anybody from the public who'd like to adjust the board on this budget and if not, then I'm going to ask for a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. A second. Second. Discussion. Roll call. In favor. In favor. In favor. In favor. I'm now calling for resolution number one, which is adopting the budget for fiscal year June 1, 2011 to May 31, 2012. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? Trustee Chardano. In favor. Trustee In favor. Trustee In favor. In favor. And that's all the business we have scheduled for tonight here, but I am calling for a uh, uh, motion to go into executive session. We have a uh, discussion that we're going to be uh, having with our attorney regarding the CDBG proposal for Westchester County. So do I have a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? In favor? In favor? In favor. In favor. Thank you. Well, one quick Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, sure, go ahead. The, um, there is a Crestwood Street Fair on Sunday, May 1st, between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m., which is on Fisher and Columbus Avenue. Uh, there will be a mini zoo, uh, which I've heard that there are uh, two foot, foot tall giraffes. Um, 
Actually, I didn't hear that at all. I'm not sure what Minnie Zoo is. But there are curious creatures and an interactive show. There are vendors galore and sand art rides, which, again, I guess is sand art and rides. Uh, and Tuckahoe's very famous geraniums. Uh, I know that Tuckahoe was put on the map for their geraniums. They will be offered for sale. Uh, there'll be a special raffle, and this is being sponsored by the Tuckahoe Be uh, Beautification Committee. And let's hope we have great weather for that great event. Yes. We need Thank it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.